before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs for the lord is a great god and a great king above all gods in his hand are the caverns of the earth the heights of the hills are also his the sea is his for he made it and his hands had molded the dry land oh come let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the lord our maker for he is our god and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen give glory to god our light and our life oh come let us worship Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. I will extol thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty acts. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty, and of thy wondrous works. And men shall speak of the might of thy terrible acts, and I will declare thy greatness. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness, and shall sing of thy righteousness. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. O Lord, ruler of all ages, who ministered as spiritual food unto our soul in due season, grant that we may evermore bless thee and faithfully speak of thy majesty unto the sons of men. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. All thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. 
they shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and thy dominion endureth throughout all generations. The Lord upholdeth all that fall, and raiseth up all those that be bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon thee, and thou givest them their meat in due season. Thou openest thine hand, and satisfiest the desire of every living thing. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him, he also will hear their cry and will save them. The Lord preserveth all them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord, and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, and holy in all his works. Lord, thou hast... Come thou fount of every blessing, tune my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy never ceasing, call for songs of loudest praise. While the hope of endless glory fills my heart with joy and love, teach me Oh, to grace, how 
great a debtor, daily I'm constrained to be. Let that grace now, like a fetter, bind my wandering heart to Thee. Prone to wander, Lord, I feel it, prone to leave the God I love. Here's my heart, O oh, take and seal it, seal it for Thy courts above. A reading from the prophet Joel, the first and second chapters. Alas for the day, for the day of the Lord is near, and as destruction from the Almighty it comes. It is, is not the food cut off before our eyes, joy and gladness from the house of our God? The seed shrivels under the clods, the storehouses are desolate. The granaries are torn down because the grain has dried up. How the beasts groan. The herds of cattle are perplexed because there is no pasture for them. Even the flocks of sheep suffer. To you, O Lord, I call, for fire has devoured the pastures of the wilderness and flame has burned all the trees of the field. Even the beasts of the field pant for you, because the water brooks are dried up, and fire has devoured the pastures of the wilderness. Blow a trumpet in Zion, sound an alarm on my holy mountain, that all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. It is near, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Like blackness there is spread upon the mountains a great and powerful people. Their like has never been before, nor will be again after them, through the years of all generations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the prophet, I'm sorry, a reading from the Revelation to St. John, the 18th chapter. The merchants of these wares, who gained wealth from her, will stand far off in fear of her torment, weeping and mourning aloud. Alas, alas for the great city that was clothed in fine linen, in purple and scarlet, adorned with gold, with jewels, and with pearls. For in a single hour all this wealth has been laid waste, and all shipmasters and seafaring men, sailors, and all whose trade is on the sea, stood far off and cried out as they saw the smoke of her burning. What city was like the great city? And they threw dust on their heads as they wept and mourned, crying out, Alas, alas for the great city where all who had ships at sea grew rich by her wealth. For in a single hour she has been laid waste. Rejoice over her, O heaven, and you saints and apostles and prophets, for God has given judgment for you against her. Then a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and threw it into the sea, saying, So will Babylon, the great city, be thrown down with violence, and will be found no more, and 
the sound of harpists and musicians, of fruit, flute players and trumpeters, will be heard in you no more, and craftsmen of any craft will be found in you no more, and the sound of the mill will be heard in you no more, and the lamp, light of a lamp will shine in you no more, and the voice of the bridegroom and bride will be heard in you no more. For your merchants were the great ones of the earth, and all nations were deceived by your sor sorcery. And in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints, and of all who have been slain on earth. <coughs> the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. <coughs> Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior. Born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Lord God, so rule and govern our hearts and minds by your Holy Spirit, that always keeping in mind the end of all things and the day of judgment, we may be stirred up to holiness of life here and may live with you forever in the world to come. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, who has given us the grace to be instruments of love in a world, work of healing and judgment, who has commissioned us to proclaim forgiveness and all condemnation, deliverance to the captive and captivity to the proud, give us the patience of those who understand and the impatience of those who love, that the might of thy gentleness may work through us and the mercy of thy wrath may speak through us. Amen. O Almighty God, who by your Son, Jesus Christ, gave your apostles many excellent gifts, 
and commanded them earnestly to feed your flock? Grant that your church may be ordered by faithful and true bishops and pastors. With them, help us to obediently walk according to your will, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O gracious Father, you led your holy apostles to ordain ministers for the proclamation of your word and faithful administration of the sacraments of Christ. Grant to the North American Lutheran Church faithful leaders, guided by the Holy Spirit for the blessing of your church in this place. Teach us humility to know that your will is best for us and the source for us and the church. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen.